redemption. That's what we want to talk about over the next few Sundays. We want to talk about receiving redemption blessings. Romans 5 tells us that through one man's sin, death came into this world. And that passed upon every person. Now when we talk about death, it's not just physical death. It's part of it. But it's really spiritual death, which is really being cut off from God. And when we are cut off from God, that's a dangerous place to be. Because when you are cut off from God, it means that powers of darkness now have control over us. Until Colossians 1.13 happens. God has delivered us from the power of darkness. And translated us into the kingdom of his own dear son. In whom, in Christ, in whom we have redemption. So the word redemption is powerful. It means to set a captive free from slavery to the payment of a ransom. So today... We just want to understand a little bit about our redemption blessings. Just get a little insight to it. And then I will build on it in the weeks to come. But here's the premise I want us to begin with. Everything Adam lost in the Garden of Eden, Jesus regained and gave to us through his cross. So everything Adam lost in the Garden, Jesus paid for. He died on the cross to redeem that Redeem it and give it back to us as the redeemed of the Lord. He did a complete work on the cross. Now, we understand that part of our redemption is now and part of our redemption is future. Part of it we are going to enjoy now. Part of it we will enjoy in the future. Like it says in in, in Ephesians 1, 13, 14, he has sealed us. And until the redemption of the purchased possession. That means there's coming a time when we will enjoy the fullness of our redemption. And and Romans 8, 23 talks about our body. Which right now we are groaning in this body. But a time will come and we will have glorified bodies. But what I want us to understand is this. That redemption includes both spiritual and natural blessings. So what are spiritual blessings? That come to us because of our redemption in Christ. For example, we have been made the righteousness of God. We are righteous in God's eyes. We are heirs of God. We are joint heirs. We are sons and daughters of God. We have been made to sit together with Christ in heavenly places. All these are spiritual blessings, blessings in the spiritual realm. But they are also blessings that affect our natural life. So, here's the thing. I'm redeemed... But if I don't do my part to receive my redemption blessings, I will still enjoy the future. But while going through the earth, God can't do anything more. He says, I already provided for you. But you're not receiving it. You're not taking it. You're not making advantage of it. And I want to just talk a little bit about that. You know, many times we relegate all the blessings of God only to spiritual things. So the point I want to make here is this. We are in a new covenant with Almighty God through His Son, Jesus Christ. There are spiritual blessings that we can enjoy. And there are natural blessings which we can enjoy as part of our redemption blessings. So, we are people who have been redeemed and we have redemption blessings that we can and should walk in. 